Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. 
The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sagar's barbershop is open again. Well, it's an excellent source of information. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barbershop is open again? Yeah. Saga, the barber, has a side business dealing in information. He basically has every snitch in the slums sharing the news with him. Boss wants him on our side. Barbie even came down to the hideout to be shown a picture of the boss so he'd recognize him when meeting him. God, all the secrecy is so strange. You know the boss. He says having a secret identity is key to what he does. But I honestly don't understand what he means. The guy's a bit of a mystery to me. This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. Yeah, he's literally about to shit himself. We brought him down. Real 
Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. Forty-seven? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. No, that isn't the Maelstrom. All right, 47. We're open for business. 
We know what the maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. That wasn't him, no. No luck. I'd like to get a shave if possible. Forty-seven. That nose. Those eyes. That can only be Wazir Kale, the Maelstrom. Identification confirmed. Look, buddy, I'm flattered, but uh, I'm spoken for. Hey, any chance for a shave today? Myself, can you give me a shave? Ready for your I shave, sir. Coming to town. Thank you, my friend. Make it a close one. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Let's finish this one. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Get a shave, please. Milaka, did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. You there! Sir! Please! One moment! Oh, Vikram! What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Hello, sir. Welcome to our shop. Can I help you with anything? Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants.
Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Stay safe. Hmm? Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors? How much are these? Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled haggler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. It's a deal, yes? Wow, those eyes are really burning into me. It's uh, like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. 90 rupees. 90 rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go lower. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Hey, need a new shirt for the office? We got the best. Great. Thank you. Come again. cloth for Miss Shah? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time! Come with me! Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. Frisked first. Is that a problem? I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Hey, man. Right then, off you go. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Yes, hello. Here we are. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Provided the child lives so long. <laughs> that is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five? Five years, my queen? Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen. For you and your wife. 
In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning knots. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final hey, execution up? up to Sir, you. Sir, this is a restricted area. You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain by the way the tape is left there's behind. You can use that. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Hey there, big guy.
like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shaft. He doesn't want to do the scene with Ranga. He still wants to do the kiss. Oh. He still wants to do the kiss? Oh. Are the nerve of this guy? Jutia, he's a creep. And Karishma isn't having it. I think she's crazy to pull something like that. But it seems to be working. Let's hope nobody finds the script then. Rangan doesn't deserve to get his way. The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close, but it seems there's a spot of trouble. Lead actress Charisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. around where you're not supposed to. Hey, listen, just... Chill! God damn it! Oh, shit! It's good to see you. You there? White? I found this. The script? 
You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan wheel running. Run over and man it, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't run out of wind. We have found the script. Get to your places. We are ready to shoot. Is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Karishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, and now kiss me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what's my motivation here? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul pirate, after all. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you've spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind all of those years, but after he set you free, you realized that he is your true love. Your hero. I don't know. It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. <laughs> I mean, sure, he saved me and everything, and I understand why I would be great for a handshake. Or a hug, even. Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued. Set free. The pirate is not the evil person. All right, people. Time to get the show on the road. I'm here, my lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Charisma, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the fan. Jaldi yaar, fast marks come on. Action! Oh, that was! You saved me, didn't you? Yes. The witch rests in hell now, along with her assassin. You're free. It's like the veil has been lifted from my eyes. She poisoned my mind against you. I thought you were the villain. Her magic was powerful, but it's gone now. It's just you and me now. I, if you will have me, I will protect you. Always. I'm yours forever. Now kiss me, hero. I, I, I'm sorry. I cannot do this. Cut. Krishna, come on. Can we talk, please? Oh, fine. Fine. One moment, Mr. Rangan. We'll be right back. Krishma, look. I understand I that you don't want to do this, but we really do. Maybe she ate a batch of what can I do to make this <laughs> The scene wasn't in the script originally. He wrote it in a week ago. She I was look specifically a told this morning. There, there would Maybe not be uh, any kissing scene. Are No wind! Are it's too much! Hey! Abe, stop the fan! Are you somebody stop? I this. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. What? I've never seen anything like that in my life. He just flew straight around.